Big Rigs Over the Road Racing is fucking bullshit. Goodbye. Okay, that might have been a little too much, but we do have to talk about this game. In this video, instead of narrating my complaint with the game, I'm just gonna list absolutely everything wrong with it. Here we go. No texture? No problem. This bridge doesn't fucking work. These houses are intangible. The road here is bumpy, but there's no bumps in the actual road. I can go up this mountain without losing any speed at all. I can go down this mountain with no hang time at all. There's a shit water lake. I can drive faster backwards than I can going forwards. This! Night Ride does not fucking work. You start out behind the opponent AI in this map. The opponent AI never moves an inch. There are random stop signs in the middle of the fucking street. I guess they weren't fucking around when they called it over the road racing because I can drive right off the goddamn map. This thing here is called the Ultra Nav, but there's nothing ultra about it. There's a Devil's Passage 1 and 2, but only a Forgotten Road 1. There's a random downed helicopter here. I can drive on fucking mountains! There were people that had enough courage to put their name on the programming credits. This game has no music or sound effects. And finally, your winner! What a stinking piece of shit! I mean, god damn! There's nothing else I can say about this game. Even calling it a game is too good for this sack of infected crocodile diarrhea. Now, there's a large portion of the gaming community that considers this the worst game ever created. And you know what I say? Hell no! While this game fucking sucks, it's essentially the room of video games. It's so horrifically bad that you can't help but marvel in its shittiness. Now, I know it seems like I'm mad, but the first time I played this game, I was actually laughing my ass off. There's so much nonsensical bullshit that you can't help but laugh. That's the only saving grace for this game and why it doesn't even begin to compare to the absolute garbage that is something like Bubsby 3D or Cheatham in 2. Or hell, even Cheatham in 1 for that matter. Level 10 and the further levels of Cheatham in 2 are literally unplayable. Action 52 in and of itself is a fucking piece of shit too. I'd rather play Big Rigs than Action 52. Now with that said, Big Rigs is ass. I'm not gonna let it slip just because it's the smallest piece of shit in the septic tank. No, this game is fucking terrible. Whoever thought that releasing this broken spectacle of trash was a good idea deserves to get slapped across the face. This isn't just an insult to racing games, but games in general. So rest and piss, Big Rigs. Before I leave, did you really think that there were only 20 things wrong with this game? Yeah, fucking right. Hit the music. There's a cop car on the cover of the game, but there's no police in the game. The objective of the game is to deliver cargo, but you never deliver any cargo. The time and point counters go outside of the box. Your brake lights just float around the truck sometimes. It says 18 wheels of thunder on the cover, but there's no truck with 18 wheels in the game. You can go negative miles per hour. There's someone credited for sound, but there's no sound in the game. There's a glitch where if you're a winner on one course, you're a winner on all courses. This game sold over 20,000 copies. Finally, since your opponent never fucking moves, how can this be considered a racing game? That's it for me. I'm sure there are more things wrong with this game that I overlooked, but I got better things with my life to do than play this game. Like, uh, beating Action 52's ooze. See you next time.